The test of network cable CTNT020 is used to check if the cables of a computer network, a telephone line or USB cables are sound and soldered properly. The tester employs the microprocessor technology of testing, which provides the quickness and exactness of the measurement. With the help of the tester, it is possible to detect the type of fault, short circuit, break or incorrect soldering. The device allows you to test both the new cables and the existing ones. The tester consists of two parts, basic block and the terminator. Both blocks are connected to the ends of the tested cable. The whole process of testing is controlled by the basic block. The indication situated on the front side of the basic block consists of two rows. The upper row of indicators displays the general condition of the cable and it includes the health status indicator, the breakage indicator, the short circuit indicator and the indicator of incorrect soldering. The lower row consists of nine light diodes and it indicates the condition of each core of the cable separately and the condition of the shield, if any. There is also a test button on the case. Let's demonstrate how the device operates by testing a computer network cable as an example. Let's insert one RG45 plug of the cable into the basic block and the other one into the block of the terminator. Press and hold the button test. The testing procedure takes a couple of seconds. We can watch the process indicated by the red light diodes lighting on and off. When the test is completed, the cable is sound, the green diodes indicating the number of cores in the cable and the indicator of the general wire health status light on. To show how the fault is detected, let's take a defective cable and we test it again. We see that six out of eight cores are sound and the other two are not. The light in the indicator indicator gray shows the type of the fault of these cores. Now we short circuit these cores and test them again. Again we see that two cores are defective, the two burning red indicators confirm this, but now the indicator of short circuit is on, which confirms the type of fault detected. Finally, let's imitate an incorrect soldering. Now we see the indicated faulty cores and the burning indicator incorrect soldering shows the type of fault. We have shown you how effective and easy it is to work with the tester CTNT020. This device can be useful both at work and at home when you make and repair cables and cords.